welcome to this new video, Software How To's. In this video, I am going to pick up where I left off before in showing you how to use Express Animate, and I'm going to finish off the animation about the shapes. So, let's open up our project here that we saved on the desktop by double clicking. Alright, here is our project. Where we left off before, was we finished animating the shapes, and now we need to fade them off and then finish the animation. So about right here, start with triangle. Let's open up the properties, and let's add an opacity animation key. Let's go to here, and change the opacity to zero. All right, now let's do the same thing. Let's go to the first keyframe here. But we're going to do square. Let's open up his properties. Add the piece in a keyframe. And right here, change it to zero. All right, let's move the cursor back to the first keyframe. And then let's do fuzzy circle. Add the opacity keyframe. Then move it here, change it to zero. So now all the shapes are faded out. Alright, so let's finish off this video. We can drag these shapes lifespans to the cursor because they're dead now. Alrighty. Alright, so to finish this up, let's just fade it all to black. So let's get our white guy here, and then let's add another shape. Rectangle, cover it all up, and then change him to black. Solid black. Alright, so now he's black. I want to fade him in. So, I'm going to set that, and then opacity, not fill, opacity. And it's going to be at zero here, and it's going to fade into black. So I go over here, and 100%. So it's the reverse. Now it should fade to black. So look at that. Now, if you look here, up here is the time in the timeline. It's 2101. So if I were to click here, change it to 2101. And now it stops right there. So let's watch our animation. Nice! So that's a basic animation you can create with Express Animate. Of course, Express Animate can be used for a variety of things, because there are so many options for the keyframes, and there's a lot you can do with it. Alright, so one final thing I wanted to do to finish up this project is show you how to add sound. So let's move this to about... Right when the shapes first pop in. Right there. Alright, so now we're going to add sound. So to add a sound, of course you could use, choose a sound from the NCH sound library, but I'm just going to get one of my own media sounds. Alright, so let's go to our desktop here. And I have this random lightsaber hit sound on my desktop that I'm just going to use for the purposes of showing you sounds. So, 
When you create a project without sound, Express Animate has it in play every frame mode. In order to play sound, you need to enable the real-time playback mode. And you can just change this right here. If you play every frame without sound, it just plays the frames without sound. Real-time actually plays the sound. So, just make sure if you're not hearing the sound, that's because you don't have that in real-time. So, our sound is right here. <coughs> that's just great. So we can move it, and we can also crop it by adjusting the length. And also, uh, you can change the decibels, aka the uh, pitch, the loudness of the sound, over here. Let's zoom in a bit. There's only one key frame for sound, which is the loudness. You can change it to really quiet or really loud. You just keep this at zero. All right. You can also trim the sounds by dragging the length. But, but I'm just going to keep the whole thing because I don't want to trim them. So about right here is where I'm going to add the sound. Right there. So let's drag him. Make sure snaps on. And he snaps right there. Look at that, it's a nice little sound of something. <coughs> Alright, and I'll add that for when the other shapes come in too. So let's move to when the other shapes come. Right here. Alright, so it looks like he stops right th there. So let's duplicate this sound, Control c Control v And where is he? right here. Let's move them to match up with the cursor. Alright, and let's do that one more time for the orange triangle. Where does triangle come in? There he is. So the sounds right there. Alright, so that's how you add sounds. Another thing I wanted to note is, I've already explained the magnet and the composition duration tools over here, but there's also the enable timeline sound scrub, world control while moving timeline cursor over sound, just another helpful tool for the sounds, and open the curve editor for selected animation keys, another helpful tool. And also, if you're selected on a layer, say this shape, you can either move it up or down. If I move it up, it's now above shape 5, which means if I put shape 4 over shape 5, it'll be covering shape 5. Whereas if I move it down a layer, if I put shape 4 over shape 5, it'll actually be under shape 5 because shape 5 is ahead in the layers. So that's helpful if you have imported something a little too early or a little too late, and then it's above or below, and it's not the way you want it, you can move it up or down the layers. So. To finish off this video, let's watch our animation and export it. That sounds great. Nice! A simple animation using Express Animate. Alright, so, last step. Let's save this, and let's export the video. So you click Save Video. There's lots of options here. You can even export it directly to YouTube, but let's just save it as a video file. So you click on that, and then you name it here. It's called My Awesome Animation About Random Shapes, because that's what I called the project, and so it automatically has that there. So now, this is the file path. So you can click the pencil icon and change the file path. I'm just going to save it on desktop. Save. So now it saves it on desktop. You can set that as a default location, which means that's where it'll always save it. Um, you can change uh, change the preset. I've added a custom. File format is MP4. That seems to work. They all work well, but MP4, you know, it's kind of classic. 
You can change the resolution, have it letterbox, crop and zoom, or stretch it. You can change the um, output, which you can also do down here, 16.9, or you can change it to letterbox, which is around 8.3. You can't do exactly in here. And you can change the frame rate. I just leave it at default. The estimated file size is right here, 7.9 megabytes. And I have 7 gigabytes free on my hard drive. So that sounds pretty good. So once we're done ready, click the create button. And it will start loading. For longer videos, usually Express Animate takes a really long time, but since this is, video is not very long, it does not take that long. So I'm going to pause this. That hardly took any time at all. It is done. So now you can either close this little dialog here, or you can click go to file. It will take you directly to your movie. Your animation. Ta-da! My awesome animation about random shapes. So that is how you use Express Animate. Of course, like I said earlier, this is a very basic and somewhat on the dumb side animation, but you can make really great things with this Express Animate, and Express Animate isn't just for animating 2D things. It can also be used to create titles, like with moving text around and animating, creating all sorts of... You can even create little GIFs with this. It can be used for so much besides animating. So Express Animate is a really good animation software, best free animation software I know is around. So thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this series about Express Animate. Please do not forget to subscribe and like. Thank you for watching.